Have you thought about what we discussed? I think you're right. We should start with a clean slate. What about our text messages? And the contact. Are we good? Yeah. We've put all this other nonsense behind us and trust one another and continue to help one another. I like that. And consider the slate clean. Answer me one thing. The passenger seat. You said Russo was trying to get out, that there was nothing abnormal. I thought we just agreed. I want to believe you, but I need details. More than what you're sharing. What's your question? The night Russo fell off the wagon, he was at a fundraiser. The McNeely Cancer Institute. All in the police report. Rachel Posner was at the hotel that night. Who's that? The call girl who was with Russo when he was arrested. I didn't know her name. She disappeared, Francis. When? Don't act surprised. I showed the bellman a photo. One of them remembers seeing her. The girl's a prostitute. I'm sure she frequents many hotels. But that hotel, on that night? Well, now you sound like Miss Skorsky talking. I haven't discussed this with anyone. I wanted to ask you first. I have no idea what happened that night, except that Peter started drinking again. I don't know who was or wasn't there. I wish I was. Maybe I could have stopped him. Do you know where Rachel is? Listen to what I am I'm saying. I'm trying to protect us both. These are questions anyone could ask. But no one is except you. I can't imagine what you're after. I took a chance. Showed up at your house and placed myself at your feet. Crossed ethical lines. Professionally, physically, and I hold myself accountable for that. Those were my choices, and I can live with them. I'd like to move forward, but I need to know exactly what I was a part of, that... that I wasn't a part of someone's... Finish your thought. Part of someone's murder. Jesus. I want to believe you, Francis. 